Uh, we started in 1989, we opened our first store in 1992, so we're coming up to our 20th year in about another four days. Uh, so I'm hoping what Leslie said was true, that it will take us 20 years to be an overnight success. Um, chocolate has been a, a very interesting journey for me. I often will say that I didn't really choose chocolate, chocolate chose me. So I was always very passionate about food. Um, grew up in the prairies where I don't really know where this passion for food came because growing up in the prairies in the 1960s, there was not what you'd call a very good quality level of food then. Um, that being said, we ate tomatoes out of the garden, cucumbers, did our own pickles, the family. So I grew up on those really foods that were very um, plain, but very sustenance. Um, so, how, how did chocolate choose me? I, I started cooking and what I did with my cooking career was I started out cooking and then I went into pastry because it was my entire idea that I wanted to be able to own a restaurant or a, a country inn where I could bake every bread, make every item that we would serve, all the pickles, all the, you know, the, the, that whole vision of the country inn. Um, and uh, essentially faked my way into a pastry shop where on the interview, the gentleman asked me if I'd ever worked with fondant before. And I said, uh, no, not really, not a whole lot. I had no idea what fondant was. <laughs> so I immediately ran to the library, read up on fondant, memorized the recipe, and uh, that was sort of the start of my pastry career. From that, uh, it was when we progressed along there, and uh, the next logical step was we had a, there was a uh, person who delivered fresh herbs to all of the restaurants around town, a, a company called the Glorious Garnish uh, Company, and they delivered all the, they were the first people to serve salad mixes to all the, all the companies, or all the restaurants downtown. And the, the gentleman one day said, you know, I've got this field of mint, what should we do with it? And uh, the chef of my, at the time that I had said, we'll cover it in chocolate. So being the pastry chef, they came to me, and that was actually the start of chocolate arts. Our first product actually was that we took fresh herbs and coated them in chocolate and tried to sell them. We, we discovered that tarragon and basil and mint didn't quite work so well. Uh, fresh mint ended up drying up like grass, and so it wasn't that pleasurable to eat. Um, through that, we met uh, an individual new Robert Davidson, who was a First Nations artist, and that was when we got, he joined the, the company as a partner, and we manufactured medallions of, of his chocolates. Essentially, five years, you know, I remember standing in the front of our store after five years, and uh, standing there and going, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, but I don't know how I got here. So it was, I found something that I was very good at um, that obviously gave people pleasure, and um, that's where we ended up. Uh, through all of this, this is inextricably connected to my, uh, my wife at the time. We had decided we were getting married in February and planning on getting married far before we were gonna open the shop, so I just had my 20th anniversary. But what ended up happening was, due to leases and due to everything, we ended up getting married about a week before we opened our store 20 years ago. So it's always been inextricably connected in that in that way. Um, where, where are we at time-wise? As you can see, I don't have a script, so I'm just sort of I'm just gonna gonna wait. Um, and but the one thing. That, that Leslie really said was uh, about passion. It's, you know, 20 years in, we've just spent a whole bunch more money and uh, committed to building the facility that I actually saw that we could have 20 years ago, what, what was too scared to do. 
So we finally have that, we have enough space, and now we have the, the ability to do all the things that we've, we've always wanted to do. So that's, uh, that for me, on the days when I'm not fretting, is just a, a very wonderful thing. But it's always that, that drive to take, um, I, I don't know, I would say what we're known more for is, um, I like to take as many local products as possible, strengthen the flavor, or enhance the flavor of that product so that when you taste, um, so we will taste some chocolates later on, or you'll be leaving with some chocolates. We have a, a pumpkin chocolate, and these are a, an organic sugar pumpkin that are grown in the Hazelmere, Hazelmere Organic Farms. We take that pumpkin, we baby it, we roast it, we reduce it, we dehydrate it, we mix it all together so that we can strengthen the pumpkin so that it'll actually carry through the chocolate. So hopefully, when you bite into it, you immediately go, that's pumpkin. I'd always not like the fact that I would eat a chocolate and I'd go, I have a hard time figuring out what the flavor is. Having worked with chocolate for a long time, I know how difficult it is to capture the essence of all of those products that we're trying to do. Another chocolate that uh, is in there uh, today is an oatmeal stout chocolate, and we've used the stout from uh, r and Brewery. So ribbon berry, and so it's uh, we trundle off to their brewery with 14 liter pails, and we take 14 liters of liquid and reduce it down to about 200 grams. That's the essence that we use to really strengthen the flavor. So that's um, that's how the flavor can sort of carry through the whole uh, through the dark chocolate and everything like that. Um, and and that passion to to capture the flavor, we we often say in our to our team members that what we're trying to do is take the inconsistent and make it consistent. So we've discovered that clientele, the one thing about being a manufacturer is we have people who come in because they remember from a long time ago the flavor of how something tasted. And they come in with that taste memory and want to have it again. And so that therefore we work really hard to be consistent year in, year out, but continue to evolve as we learn and as we grow, we learn how to get more um, flavor out of everything. Um, and so that's, uh, that's what sort of gets me out of bed.